Hello there, welcome back to my channel, Duella. So, completely different type of video for you today. It's a cooking video. Now, this is something that I've toyed with the idea in my mind for the last two years about starting to do cookery videos. I personally like watching those type of videos, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. So my channel is going to be quite varied from now on. I mean, yes, I'll still be doing beauty stuff because I love me beauty stuff. But there is going to be a little bit of cookery. There's obviously already lifestyle stuff on there. I'm sharing my weight loss journey. But there's also going to be a little bit of artwork as well in the future. Because I do like to do those things. They're my hobbies. They're basically my life. So I'm living my life out on camera. Some people would say that might be a bad idea. But hey ho, it is what it is. Anyway, so this is a cookery video today and it's my very first cookery video. Now, it's a very plain and simple recipe. It is homemade chicken and vegetable soup. So next you're gonna see me making the actual soup. It might be a little bit higgledy-piggledy. It might even be a little bit boring. And I actually forgot to put one slightly vital ingredient into it and I can't believe I forgot. So I'm just gonna say at the beginning of this video because I totally forget throughout is that I usually put dried tarragon and dried thyme into my soup, but I completely forgot. Total scatterbrain this morning. As soon as I got up, I made myself a cup of tea and I just got, got going chopping my vegetables and I just completely slipped my mind. So there should be dried tarragon and dried thyme in there, but to be honest, it didn't alter the flavour of the soup and it was still bloody delicious. Anyway, so this is the intro for this video and next you are going to see me making the soup. So if you like these type of videos, then obviously I hope you enjoy watching it. If it's not your cup of tea, then it's honestly, I don't take any offence that you're not watching it. So yeah, sit back, enjoy, and you're going to see me making some soup. Hello and welcome to my first cookery video. <laughs> so, right, let's get started. Basically, yesterday I cooked a roast chicken and I did what my mum and my nana have always taught us to do and that is to make the most of things that you buy and that you, that you cook. So I picked the chicken last night, which is in this tin foil. Really not very exciting, but thought I'd show you anyway. <laughs> so yeah, that is the chicken that is picked off the carcass. Now some of that's leg, some wing, some breast and some that underneath of the chicken, but it's all edible meat and it's fantastic in a chicken soup the next day. Or even in a sandwich, just whatever you want to have it in really. Or even in a curry, but I'm putting it in a soup because it's nice and healthy. So here goes. In this soup I'm going to put the chicken, some chicken stock obviously, some courgette, which is right here, some carrots, I've got a few of them here some onions, some brown onions, some celery, absolutely love celery and I even put the leaf in as well because the leaf's really really nice, some leek which never comes in wrong and of course what would my cooking be without garlic, <laughs> I can't have anything without garlic in, even sweet stuff but no I'm only joking. So anyway you're not going to see my face on this film because yeah I look more like Cruella than Nigella and that's just not good. So anyway, yeah, I'll get started. This might be a little bit boring, but I just wanted to share it with you, really. So I'm just going to chop all the vegetables up. So what I might do is quickly chop everything up and see if there's any way that I can edit this video just to kind of make it a bit quicker. I'll do it exactly how I do it when I make soup. I love a nice homemade chicken soup. I just think it's really tasty, it's healthy, it's good for you. It's full of vegetables, so it's full of goodness. Sorry if you can't see anything here, because you can probably just see my hands. <laughs> but I'll try and make it as clear as I can. So I just dice everything up really quite small, but not too small that you can't see it. I don't blend the soup, I leave it quite chunky. It's going to take us ages to chop all these veggies. I hope I can figure out a way to quickly zoom through this part. Otherwise the video is going to be basically me chopping and peeling vegetables. But that's okay. <laughs> if you're here to watch a cookery video then you won't mind. So, courgettes is the first thing that I tend to do. And then with all the vegetables, once they are chopped, peeled and prepped, which I've washed them all first by the way, I've rinsed them all under the tap so that they're nice and clean. 
but what I do is I saute all of them in a little bit of oil, salt and pepper. Just trying to get everything on the chopping board here. I've never filmed myself doing any cookery yet, so this is like completely new to me. So just excuse me if it's not really quite up to scratch. So this I'll pop in my pan, which is just here. As you can see, it's just chopped up into like little pieces. Really nice and soup courgette, really nice and stir fry. And I'm just gonna take a slurp of my cup of tea, guys. It is first thing in the morning, so I'm not really quite, quite fully with it yet. <laughs> but I wanted to get this done. So, I'm just gonna pop three pieces of celery in. Now this soup that I'm making is literally enough for, I would say, two people, maybe three people. It just depends how much you eat, really. I'm just gonna get rid of those bits. So we've got three sticks of celery here. You can make your celery as chunky or as fine as you like. I just cut it any old way, to be honest with you. Um, but with vegetables, remember they're like zero calories pretty much. So just go hell for leather and get all your vegetables in the soup because it's a good way of getting the goodness into your body without having to eat a big plate of dinner full of vegetables. It's nice to have them in a soup. I tend to cut my celery all together. <laughs> I cut it in bulk, <laughs> if I can. It doesn't always work out like that. You've got to be careful you don't cut your fingers off. It's nothing spectacular, it's just chopping celery. So that's the celery there. That will go in the pan now. I'm a bit of a slapdash cooker. I'm not like an artistic cook. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna do the leeks. I'll just peel the outer layer off. I mean, I have washed it, but yeah, I don't want the outer layer on. So this is my leek, and I'm just gonna chop that in uh, like rings, I think. <laughs> and I'll chop them quite fine. Leeks is really nice in a soup. To be honest, you don't need to use onion if you use leek, or vice versa, but I like a bit of onion as well, so I am putting onion in as well as the leeks. It takes forever to chop vegetables, doesn't it? Sometimes if something seems a little bit kind of rubbery or not quite right, I peel it off. You've just gotta do what you think, really. Just realised my chopping board's green, so you probably can't see these very well. But hopefully you can. I wish I had one of those machines that chops the stuff for you. But sadly I haven't. Never mind. So yeah. Just finished chopping this leek. Lovely. So, right just deciding to jump all over at the moment but my benches are clean so that's the chopped leek which is also going in the pan this pan is going to be full and overflowing of vegetables and I will show you it at the end like when I when I come to saute everything right so I've done the courgette the celery and the leek how long am I six minutes that's not too bad so now I'm going to peel a couple of carrots now one of these carrots has got a big split in it so I won't use that bit but that's okay so I'm just going to peel them as quickly as I can you don't have to peel your carrots it's just I've always done that so I do honestly this soup is so good for you there's nothing particularly fattening in it because even the roast chicken that I'm putting in it has got no skin on so the skin's the fattening bit about a roast chicken, to be honest with you, which is tastes lovely. Crispy roast chicken skin, so tasty. But yeah, there's no skin on it, it's just the, the chicken picked off the, the carcass. So yeah, sometimes I do put fresh chicken stock in, but I didn't have any left. I had it on my dinner last night. <laughs> um, I just did chicken with salad and flatbread, garlic flatbread. But I poured the, the chicken essence back over the chicken onto the salad so it acted like a dressing. Um, which might sound a bit weird, but it's not weird, it's nice. Anyway, I think three carrots is enough to go in this soup. So, with the carrots, I'm just going to kind of cut into chunks, to be honest. Um, nothing exciting. Just going to cut 
them into chunks. I think my knife could do with sharpening, but it'll survive. It'll be all right. So yeah, I'm just gonna chop these into little pieces, which is probably gonna take forever. I like the grated carrot in soup, but whenever I use the grater to grate carrot, it absolutely kills my hand because carrots are so firm. But anyway, so I'm just doing them in like little half semicircles, just little chunks. But it will cook because I mean, I do simmer this soup for about 40 minutes, I would say, which is definitely long enough to cook everything after you've sauteed it. So yeah, sorry if this is a bit boring. It's just me chopping vegetables. I think what I might do is, I might pause the camera while I finish chopping these carrots and then I'll come back. And a slurp of tea later and a little bit more chopping and I've chopped all the carrots. So that's the carrots ready to go in the pan. The pan is just literally beneath the camera. Looks like I'm throwing them in the bin, but it's in a pan. <laughs> I can assure you. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is chop some garlic. So I've just got four small cloves of garlic here. You can just put as many in as you like, really. As there's no set amount. When it comes to your vegetables anyway, you just do what you think. If you want to put loads in, put loads in. If you want your soup quite nice and chunky and thick, put as much as you like in. But with garlic, obviously it can overpower a little bit. But I love garlic. I would put a whole bulb in, to be honest with you, if I was making a big pan of this soup. But seeing as I'm just doing enough for today, I'm obviously only going to put a couple of, couple of little cloves in. Now, if you crush your garlic, it is stronger. It will definitely overpower the soup. If you just chop it into fine little bits and dice it up a bit, it's fine. So that's what I'm going to do. As you can see, they're just quite small cloves. I do prefer the, the larger cloves, but it is what it is, and that's all I've had. And they didn't have any other large ones. Oh, I can smell this straight away. I love the smell of garlic. Really like it. My mum hates garlic. But there's times when I've cooked things. Mum, if you're watching, this is quite funny. There's times I've cooked things and she said, is there garlic in this? And I've said no, but obviously no means yes, there is. But she doesn't know, she doesn't know. <laughs> and she still likes it and eats it, so it's all good. <laughs> and garlic's really good for you. It's really good for your blood. Um, it cleanses and detoxes the blood and it's good for your heart. So there you go. But that doesn't mean garlic butter. That means fresh garlic or even raw garlic. Obviously don't cover it in butter and oils. So once it's chopped into like thin slices like that, I just get my knife and I chop over it just to make it a little bit smaller. Just so it's a little bit more fine. But it's not quite the same as crushing. It's just mincing it really. So I think that's enough. And I'll just... Oh, there's my dog. It's just because the postman's came. I'll just pop that into the pan as well. Which is all over my fingers now, but that's all right. So, next thing. Onion. I might just put one onion in. They're not very big, but I might just do the one. My hands feel all sticky off the garlic, as usual. I normally wash my hands in between this, but because it'll take us ages, I'm not bothering. Plus, it's just vegetables. I only wash them because I don't like the sticky feeling on my hand off the garlic, because it does leave your hands quite sticky. But that's cooking for you. It's not exactly non-messy if you do it from scratch. So, the onion. I just slice it up into small pieces. So I slice it kind of widthways, and then I do it that way. So it's just in like small chunks. I would say around about a centimetre little chunks. I might just put one onion in, you know, thinking about it. I just decide as I go through these things. Oh, it's a strong one. Oh, this is why I've got no makeup on yet, guys, because it wrecks me makeup when I chop an onion. So that is one chopped onion, just into little pieces. That goes in there. I think one's enough to be honest and that's all my vegetables in there for now I think <laughs> I think the next thing I put in would be a little bit of low salt and some freshly ground black pepper and then I do a pint and a half or there or thereabouts of no chicken stock so basically I'll use two of these chicken stock cubes 
So that's what I'm going to do next. The next time you see us, hopefully you'll see the pan of vegetables sauteing away. So bear with us again. So now I'm just sauteing the vegetables there in the pan. I wish I had smell of vision because this smells really, really nice. I don't know if you can hear it sizzling away there. <laughs> but I'm just going to saute these vegetables for roughly 5 to 10 minutes and then add some stock. So stay with us because this is quite a boring part. So I'm just going to skip through it. But I just wanted you to see the vegetables together. They look so, so yummy <laughs> and healthy. As you can see, the vegetables are sautéing nicely. So now is the time where I add the chicken stock. Hopefully you can see the veg over the steam of the heat. <laughs> they've been sautéing for a good five or six minutes now and they've gone down. There's not half as many as there was because that's because the water comes out of them and they do shrink a little bit. Anyway, next thing is adding the stock. So bear with us again and I'll be back. And now I have added a pint and a half of chicken stock. Now I'm just holding my camera as I do this because it's impossible to get my tripod anywhere near the cooker without it getting completely melted and damaged. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stir that in for a little bit. So there's two no chicken stock cubes with a pint and a half of boiling water. And also there was a little bit of salt and pepper that I sauteed the veggies in and about a tablespoon of oil, which was sunflower oil. So that's that. I'm just gonna let that simmer for a minute. Then I'm gonna add the chicken pieces and voila, let that simmer away for about 40 minutes. Again, I will be back once I have added the chicken. So I've added the chicken and I've added a small handful of frozen sweet corn, just for a bit of color, but also I like the taste and the texture of it. Just goes really nice with the chicken. So this is basically chicken and vegetable soup, homemade. The flavour is, is honestly, it's so, so nice. It might not look much at the minute, but I can assure you, after 40 minutes, that's going to taste delicious. And obviously you can have it with bread or anything you want, but I try not to have bread because obviously I'm on a diet. So I'm trying to minimise the carbs. You can also pop a little bit of rice in here to add as a bit of a bulking agent. You can put a little bit of spaghetti tore up in it if you like to act like a noodle or you can even put potatoes in it if you like potatoes in your soup but this is really quite thick it's a nice thick chunky soup there's only a pint and a half of liquid in there i may or may not need to add a touch more throughout but hopefully not but i think that looks really nice honestly it'll look so much better once it's cooked and in a bowl <laughs> but yeah that is that step and the next time you see it It'll be in my bowl and ready to go in my belly. So I hope you've enjoyed this and yeah, stay tuned. Just had to show you that we've actually got quite a bit of snow here today. The snow's just coming down now and I think it looks so, so pretty. It looks lovely. Nice when you don't have to go out and drive in it, I suppose. But it just looked so pretty. I had to share it with you. I just think it looks so lovely. It's nice to see the snow actually and there might actually be enough to make a snowman later <laughs> stay tuned for the snowman update but no seriously it just looked lush so i had to share it with you all let us know if you've got snow and if you've been enjoying it hi guys and this is my finished bowl of soup <laughs> as you can see it's loaded in black pepper because i love black pepper <laughs> i like anything with a bit of spice so this is my bowl of soup it is chicken and vegetable and yeah that's it really guys haven't ate it yet but i've had a taste and it's so nice honestly it's really hearty it's really healthy really balanced and as you can see it's full of vegetables and obviously loaded with black pepper <laughs> so i've got a bowl for my husband there and a bowl for me and i'm just about to tuck into it so the next time you see us You'll see me face and by the time I record it, I would have ate my soup and I can tell you what it's like. <laughs> but this is the finished bowl of soup and I'm really pleased with it. Looks great and I'm sure it's going to taste great. So yeah, the recipe for this soup will be in the description bar below if anyone's interested. And yeah, I'll stop waffling because this video is probably extra long now with me chopping vegetables. So I'm going to get going and yeah, nothing else left to say really. Bon appetit. <laughs> See you later. And I am back. So you've just seen me make my delicious chicken and vegetable soup. Honestly, it was bloody gorgeous. I thoroughly enjoyed it for me lunch. I had it just about an hour ago now. 
and it went down a treat. Now when you do have that kind of soup, you can obviously have lovely bread and butter with it or a bit of garlic bread, which garlic bread and soup go so nice together. But when you're on a diet and you're watching your waistline, it's probably not the best option. So I actually didn't have any like bread or anything with my soup. I just had the soup on its own, which was absolutely fine. But sometimes it's nice to have like fried croutons on the top, salt and pepper croutons, even nicer when they've got a bit of like Parmesan cheese on as well. But again, that's all extra calories. And I saved my extra calories for after me soup. I had a little bit of chocolate. But anyway, so you can have croutons on the soup. It really can make a difference and just makes it that little bit more scrummy, especially if you're having it for a dinner, for a main meal, rather than a lunch. But I just had it for me lunch and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And my husband really enjoyed it. Sometimes he just likes my soups and other times he loves them and today he loved it. So that's testimony enough for me that it was a decent soup. <laughs> so anyway, quite a reasonably easy, straightforward soup to make. It's a good way of making use of the last bit of your chicken off the carcass, just to pick it all off. You can even cook the soup in a pressure cooker style thing or a slow cooker with the chicken from scratch, like from raw, and you get all the flavor and obviously all the kind of essence off the chicken bones. But for me, it was good enough just picking the chicken. It really did make it so, so tasty. It's so much nicer using proper, you know, roasted chicken rather than a boiled chicken breast. There is a difference. It was just full of flavour and it was so tasty. I recommend it for anyone who is or isn't on a diet. It's, you know, it's, it's healthy, it's balanced. Definitely got a couple of me five a day vegetables in there. And it was just super tasty. I really, really enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm sorry it's a quite a long video, but hopefully by the time it's kind of condensed together a little bit, it mightn't be too long. And throughout you might have seen the snow outside because I did take a quick video for about 30 seconds of the snow because it was starting to snow quite heavy when the soup was simmering away. Anyway, that is enough waffle from me. I will be back with another cooking video at some point, possibly later in the week or at the weekend. I'm not quite sure when, but I'll see how well received this type of video is. If people like it, if people enjoy it, then I'll continue to put them up. If it's not very well received, I don't take any offence at all. I just thought I would try it. And I like to share my recipes with people because I think that they're fairly reasonable, like price-wise to kind of put together. They're not expensive meals as such, some of them. Some might be a little bit more and some less. And yeah, it's so good for you. So good for you. So much better than having like pre-packed and tinned food all the time. I do like a, a tin of me mulligatawny soup, but I try to have homemade soup as well. So yeah, that's it guys. And I will see you all soon. Take care and thank you for watching. Bye.